Hey everyone, hello leaders, future leaders, current leaders, everyone, welcome. This is uh, Lessons in Leadership and I'm Dave Guerra. So this week's topic, six things inspiring leaders do, the six things inspiring leaders do. Let's dive right into it. <clears throat> Thing number one, inspiring leaders help their team members reach their goals. Remember, they lead by example. You as a leader, you will lead by example. You give them the tools that they need to get to achieve their goals. Your job is to make future leaders and leaders that exceed what you have given them. And you need to do what you can to take them to that new place. And what do I mean by that? Well, you gotta get to know them, you gotta talk to them, you gotta figure out that what, where do they wanna go and do they really truly know where they wanna go? Now, you're not, it's not your job to tell them where to go, it's your job to give them the tools, the roadmaps and whatever it takes for them to get there. Number two, Make sure you're having one-on-one -on -one relationships with each person on your team. Now, there's that fine line. Don't cross it. So, But get to know them. Listen to them. Pay attention to them. But also, ensuring that you're not playing favorites. You've got to do to each person on your team. Get to know them. Do not allow them to bring in their, um, well, their conflicts. If they're having teammate, uh, team member conflicts, don't let them do that. You're there to work with them one-on-one. -on -one. You're, the, you're there to get to know them. So don't forget you are the leader after all. Number three, you're also a coach above all else. You're a coach. It's your job to not only do your job, but to lead. You're leading all these members of the team, the team that you have, that you're entrusted to. So you've got to motivate them. You've got to inspire them. You've got to train them. You've got to guide them. You've got to be a mentor and be sure you're a mentor all the time. Be sure you're guiding them all the time. Not dictating, not micromanaging. No, you have got to guide them. You've got to train them, you've got to inspire them, and when they need it, you've got to motivate them. And because you're knowing them and you're, you're, you have a one-on-one -on -one relationship, you know exactly what's going to inspire them and what's going to motivate them. That's your job. You see how it all works together? Number four, vulnerability is power. Yeah, be careful. Being vulnerable is power. Showing a little vulnerability. Openness, trust. Well, openness trust this builds well it builds more trust you got to give a little you got to trust them a little bit you got to open let down your walls a little bit let down those barricades and they'll let you in behind their walls their barricades but never never do anything to compromise that because once that vulner vulnerability is well they give it to you they share it with you and then you use it against them guess what it's going to be hard those walls go right back up just as quickly as they came down they go right back up so be careful Next, number five, show your gratitude until it is acknowledged. Constantly, always show the gratitude until it is acknowledged. Now, what do I mean? What do I mean by that? I mean, appreciate them. Show them appreciation. Appreciate, appreciate, appreciate. Say thank you. Say thank you. Mean it. Let it come from the heart. Let it come from where it needs to come from. But, you know, lay it on. But don't lay it on or so thick that or do it so often that they're going to start thinking, well, maybe they're not authentic in what they're saying. Maybe they're just going through the motions. They're ingenuine. They're fake. And, you know, you don't want that. You don't want your followers thinking that. Because, again, once they get there, you're not going to be able to recover from that. And it is that simple. So be careful. There's a fine line there as well. But show that gratitude. Number six. This is a big one now. Do not take back the job they owned. You've given them a task. You've given them a duty and they're going to own it and ensure that they let them know that they need to own it. They need to be part of it. They need to be them and they need to put their spin on it. However, sometimes it's not going to be to the standard. It's not going to be to the expectations, but don't knock it down. You show them you can brew, you can improve on it. You can build on it. You can, you know, you can let them know that, hey, they've built a great solid foundation. Now working together, we're going to make this better. Never belittle them. Don't shame them. Don't humiliate them. No. Just let them know that, hey, might not have reached the standard, but you know what? Working together, we're going to get to the standard and we're going to exceed the standard. That's what leading by example is all about. You're building them up. You've got to build them up. So let's recap the six things inspiring leaders do. They help them reach their goals. They first work with them to identify what their goals are. Then they give them the tools to get there. They have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with each person to determine who they are and understand each other. Then you're a coach. You coach them, you inspire them, you motivate them, you get to know them, and then you get to figure out what it's going to take to make that person 
their, motivate themselves, what's going to make what it's going to take for them to be inspired, and you got to do that uniquely to each one. Uh, be vulnerable. Little vulnerability. It's a lot of power because they trust you, and once you have that trust, it's good to go. But don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. Young leaders, new leaders, you're still building there. You're still trying to learn, and that's where things can go wrong. Just be careful, but also realize you may lose something here. Show your gratitude until it is acknowledged. Show, say thank you, say yes, please, great job. Motivate them, inspire them. Let them know you're grateful for what they're doing. But don't lay it on too thick that they start thinking you're just going through the motions. And whatever you do, do not take back any job they owned. Anything they've done and it wasn't to the standard, it's okay, it's going to happen. But you're going to build on it together and make it better. You, the foundation's solid, you build on it and you grow together. So again, those are your six things that le inspiring leaders do. I'm Dave Guerra. This is your Lessons in Leadership. Until next time, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave your comments down below. Thank you.